Are there any apostles alive today? Stick around, you'll find out. Welcome, guys, to a daily dose of the scriptures. Thank you so much for coming in and watching, and thank you all for your kind words and your kind comments and just following us and and uh, just watching the content that we put out. We always try to put out truth, nothing but the truth, so help us God. First off, we're going to look at 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verses 1 through 8. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you, the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he arose again the third day according to the Scriptures, and that he was seen of Cephas, then of the twelve, and after that he was seen above five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. After that he was seen of James, then of all the apostles. And last of all he was seen of me also, as of one born out of due time. So, it is very obvious to be an apostle. You had to have been commissioned by Jesus, and you had to have seen him after after he resurrected from the dead, you had to have seen him after that to be an apostle of Christ. The apostles were used to lay the foundation of the gospel. You only lay a foundation one time. Uh, in Ephesians 2.20, it says here, um, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. So Paul indicates with his words here that the office of being an apostle is limited and will not continue on after his death. Um, he said two times that he was the last apostle. 1 Corinthians 15, 8, the Bible says, and last of all, he was seen of me also as of one born out of due time, for I am the least of the apostles that am not meet to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God. So as we see right there, Apostle Paul was the last apostle. There are not apostles today living in this day and age. There's some that call themselves that. There's a lot of people that call themselves a lot of things, just like we talked about a week or so ago about reverend, but that doesn't mean God has called these people that. If you look at just at church history in itself, um, it shows that during the first and second and third centuries that apostles were not mentioned anywhere. Even in history, you never heard the name apostle come out. It came out as time went on and people started getting prideful about themselves and they wanted to be seen as something bigger than just what God has called us to be. This is what God has given to the Laodicean church age, which is what we're living in now. Okay, and he gave some apostles. That was during Christ's time. And he gave some prophets. That was Old Testament. And the, uh, even the uh, prophets started going away towards the end of the Old Testament and in the New. And some, which is now, he gave evangelists, pastors, and teachers. That's what the Bible says. We can call ourselves whatever we want, but it doesn't mean that it's right. But there are no living apostles today. Some marks of what an apostle, a biblical apostle, went through. They were confirmed with signs, wonders, and miracles, and conducted in places where there were not any Christians. The apostles of today are man-made and are all about fame and claiming to have gifts and things that God said would be done away with would cease as time went on, which is now. And um, all you got to do is have a King James Bible and you read it, study it, and you'll know when somebody is not right. You will know when somebody is speaking false doctrine. It's very evident. It's very clear. But you got to know your Bible. That's that's the problem with most people. And that's why most people will follow anybody. They'll follow anything because they don't know any better. And if they hear or see of somebody that says, well, I'm a Christian. I'm going to 
you know, start a church down the road here or a YouTube channel or whatever the case is, they'll follow him because they don't know any better. One of the things that you, to be qualified as being an apostle, you must have seen the resurrected Christ. First Corinthians chapter nine and verse one, take a look at it. In defending his position as an apostle, Paul states the reason he holds the office. And remember, he said he was one due out of time, but he saw Jesus Christ there when Christ appeared to him. Remember now, Paul is writing 1 Corinthians about 20 years after the resurrection of Christ. So to the conclusion of this whole matter, there are no apostles today, only man-made false prophets and man-made false apostles. There are not any apostles today. It doesn't matter what you hear them say or what they claim they are. They are not. The Bible is very evident there in Ephesians 4. Let me read it again. Okay? Ephesians 4, verse 11. He gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers. Okay, And that is divide, what that is is dividing up there in between the different church ages. You know, the apostles were in Christ's time. The prophets were in the Old Testament. The evangelists and pastors and teachers are now in the church age. That is exactly what the Bible says. And the reason so is because Paul said himself he was the last apostle. A lot of times all that stuff is, is is people desiring to have more attention and bring attention on them instead of putting it on Christ. I just want the, the, the attention to be on my Lord and Savior. I'm nothing. I'm a speck of dirt. I don't deserve anything but hell. But I want all the attention and all the praise and all the glory to be on my Savior. Because he's worthy of it, I'm not, praise God. I'm worthy of nothing but hell if my back broke. But anyways, guys, I just want to bring this on here and, and, and just give the truth of, of what an apostle is. And, and, and if there are any today, and there's not, there are no apostles today that are, are biblical and that are called of God and commissioned of Christ. Uh, it's impossible um, for it to be, but you have a lot of people calling themselves a lot of things, but just know this old book, know the Bible, know what the Bible says. I'm not much, I'm not, I'm just a country boy with a Bible, but if I know anything, I want to know what the Word of God says. But anyways, guys, don't forget to share this. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, if you will, please. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to us. We'd love to have you, and we try to get godly content out as much as possible. So hope everyone has a good week. We'll see you on Tuesday night at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, live stream. Praise God. We'll bring you something from the Lord and something from his word and hope to be a blessing to you. Anyways, till then, God bless.